this is a video uh, really for kids, for children. So this is going to be my uh, kids yoga story. So um, yeah, hope, hope the children are all watching. Hi to all the children watching. Um, I hope you're all well, hope you're all okay. I hope you're not driving your parents and whoever's looking after you too mad yet. Um, yeah, and hope you're all right. So this is a bit of fun. I'm going to use some yoga poses and postures and then and um, I'll tell you a bit of a story so we're going to do those poses through a story so hope you enjoy it and um, don't worry if you don't get all the poses absolutely fine but I'll do it with you um, and just try your best so yeah have fun um, and for those that don't know me I'm Kat um, and I'll be doing your yoga story today so I'm going to get on my mat so don't worry if you haven't got a mat, as long as you've got a nice space at home that you can do this and you've moved things out of your way. So I'm going to tell you a bit of a story and we're going to sit down to start off on our knees like this. So our story starts when you wake up in the morning. So you're at home, you wake up in the morning, big stretches, big breaths to wake yourself up before our day begins and you look out of the window and you see the sun shining high in the sky so you decide that today we are going to go on an adventure outside so we start to get ourselves up and we're just gonna stretch our legs up nice and high we start to get up and we get dressed and we get ready to go out and as we go out we leave leaving our house we see our neighbor who's walking their dog so we're going to downward dog pose which is an upside down triangle and you wave to your neighbor with their dog as you set off along the street and away from all the houses and you continue walking a little bit further and you come across a forest and you see lots of trees in the forest and our tree pose is here balancing on one leg reaching the hands up nice and tall and the trees are really nice and tall so we try and stretch as high as we can and you walk a little further through the forest past all the other trees so we're swapping legs And as we come through the forest, we start to see some mountains in the distance. So our mountain pose, standing up nice and tall, feet underneath your hips and reaching up high above to this, making the tip of the mountain with our fingertips and looking up to those mountains in the distance. And we take nice deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And we breathe in all that fresh air. And then all of a sudden, we start to hear a roaring sound. So in the distance, we hear a roar. And that roar sounds a bit like a lion. So we're coming into our lion posture. Toes together, knees nice and wide, hands out. And we all know the noise that a lion makes and we're going to now do those roar sounds that we can hear. So big roar, roar, big roar, roar. Go on, you can be a bit louder. Push the, he uh, the bum back to your heels and one more big roar, roar. And we start to feel a little bit scared from our lion. So we need to make sure that we feel nice and brave. 
So we're going to come all the way up and get into our warrior posture. And here's our warrior posture. One leg bent, one leg straight, arms out nice and high. Turning the head to look along the arms. And this gives us power. We feel powerful. We feel brave. We feel the strength in our warrior posture. And then we step back. We feel a wee bit scared again. And then we find our warrior on the other side, so swapping legs. And we start to feel braver. We find our courage through our warrior posture. comes towards us and actually we find out that the lion is a friendly lion and actually all he wants is to meet us and he wants to be stroked and cuddled a bit like a pussy cat so we do our pussy cat where we drop our bellies down and lift your head up and then we curve the back like a pussy cat would. And we find out that our lion is just like a pussy cat. And we make friends with that lion. And really curve in the back like a cat would. But now we decide that we're going to continue along our journey and walk it a wee bit further. And we come to a river and the river is really calm today and we look down and we see a frog sitting by the river and we go into our squat position a bit like a frog would so this is going to be our frog position and we chat a wee bit to the frog and he points towards a boat sitting by the bank of the river and he suggests why don't you get in the boat and sail out into onto the river so we think that's a great idea and we sit into the boat so we go to the boat and we sit in the boat and our boat position is here and we push ourselves off the river bank and we float into the river. And the river is really calm today. It's nice and relaxing. And you can feel the sun shining down on your face. As we balance in our boat. back to the riverbank and we get out of our boat and we feel a little tired now so we decide that we're going to sit on the edge of the river bank with our legs crossed and have a little bit of a rest so we close down our eyes and we start to hear the sounds around us hear the river, the water flowing in the river, gently. Maybe hear the leaves and the branches of the trees swishing around in the breeze. Maybe you're hearing some wildlife, some birds cheeping. Imagine in your mind all the sounds you can hear. Breathing in nice and deeply all that fresh air and breathing out to relax.
we start to feel a wee bit colder all of a sudden. And we blink open our eyes and we realise that we've been sat here quite a wee while. It's coming towards the end of our day. And we look up and we see the stars have started to come out in the sky. So we're going to stand up and we're going to create our star pose. And our star pose is like this, nice and wide, as wide as you can, like a big star. And we look up at those stars and we see them twinkling in the dark, dark sky. As it's light time now, we decide that it's time for us to go back home. So we make our journey all the way home, back to our house, and back into our bedroom and into our bed. And we lie down on our bed in our sleepy position lying on your back, relax a bit. And we take nice deep breaths. And we feel our body relax. We feel our body go heavy. We've had a really busy day. And a great adventure. Feeling your body sinking in to the floor in your sleepy position with your eyes closed letting all your body relax or you can stay in your sleepy position if you want and that's us done our yoga story for today um, well done hope you enjoyed it let me know and yeah and enjoy your adventure bye